Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today's review is about WestJet Soup 737-800NG from in-flight 200 models. And this is one of their greatest models as far as I'm concerned because it's highly detailed and it has captured all the details very nicely and uh, I have to give you know, a thumbs up right away to in-flight for replicating this model to almost exact dimensions and exact details of the full-scale aircraft and I'll, I'll share some pictures with you you guys can see them and then you guys will be the judge so let's start with the profile of the aircraft as you can see the right from the beginning the cockpit profile is very accurate uh, the nose and the window de uh, cockpit windshield decal is where it's supposed to be the anti glare is right there the black and in before the radome radome also have such a nice lines to it like if you look closely let me zoom this for you and change my light setting that you can actually see the lines of the radome respected on the model like uh, right there you know you can see the radome uh, separation line there and also the reinforcement strips on the radome are there plus the pitot tubes is right behind it um, and uh, so is the name of the aircraft and uh, the all you can also see a detail on the gear nose gear door where the number 840 is on it so it's very very nicely done you can also see how nicely they did the, you know, the detail work on the door the l1 door they also have a water drain mass on top of it hinges um, you know the aircraft handle there to turn open the door and uh, I mean the detail wise it's magnificent Oops, sorry about that so now if I'll turn the model around and uh, let's go from, uh, from the forward fuselage to the center fuselage uh, they have the uh, the beacon there the antennas there's some kind of a dome right here which is also a full-scale aircraft uh, the Wi-Fi dome and other electronic domes which are there and so is another uh, you know, uh, antenna on the back of the airplane. The tail of the airplane is very nicely done. Let me zoom it out and show it to you guys. The tail of the airplane is done very nicely. The leading edge is right there which is aluminum. The color is very nicely captured. Uh, it's pretty much bang on dead on color they have the registration there uh, the logo this kind of a s tribe with the airplane and this band is you know done, done nicely too they you can also see the rudder in, uh, in both lines in there so rudder is there and it's separated from the fuselage so i mean like inside did a very nice job on this the detail on the door you can see is very very accurately done uh, just like the forward door uh, Boeing markings there at the canadian flag and also a drain mast is there now if we look at the engines engines are done very nicely too the intake lip is there uh, the pylon is slightly above the wings leading edge because of the newer version the max that was supposed to come so air boeing started making a different pylon instead of going down and hanging from you know at the lower end they raise the pylon uh, in front of the leading edge so the bigger engine can actually fit in there the wing has the uh, emergency walkway stripes on it uh, the door the emergency doors are there as you can see and i'm gonna show you the logo and you can also match the logo uh, with the one on the full scale aircraft and it's actually done very very nicely the s is just like the way it's supposed to be the w with a big wave coming two o's and a p uh, and uh, and then the small airplane in the back the windows are done nicely too they have a frame around them as you can see and uh, so i mean there's nothing wrong with this model it's a very nicely uh, replicated model the wheels are rolling on it which is a plus and if you look at the uh, the winglets, winglets are uh, skim uh, split scimitar winglets on it on these NGs with the tip coming back, and they're just replicated just like a full scale. Honestly, like uh, I've matched with the pictures and drawings, and they look you know bang on. So very very nice job done by InFlight on on this model. I for, I am really happy with it, and I'm sure people who have bought this model or you know will be buying it after this review 
they will be very happy with it so let's go to the bottom of the airplane I'll bring this close to you so on the bottom you can see there's a lot of detail uh, on the on the model and uh, and you can uh, you can see the the antennas there you can see some detail in the bottom here and I think this is the stripe to warn the uh, the ramp agents that there's an engine so be careful if the engine is running and then engine has its own warning stripes and these are the uh, the locks so that holds the two sides of the pylons together they have these access maintenance access panels underneath uh, also the air intakes there for the air packs landing gears are done very nicely and these landing gears can easily be detached and put onto the magnet uh, very clever very nice design but there's a bit of an issue with this particular model i'll talk about that later and then you can see the if I move to the further back, you can see the, the the tail skid is there, and so is the baggage door and other drain mass and antennas. One of the detail which I I'm really very impressed uh, about this more particular model is uh, I'm not sure about the other 737s is that uh, I'll zoom it and I will show you the the intake for the APU. Now if you look at that, it has the vein on it and uh, th that's the NACA intake and this is the vein on it. I've not seen this on other models before, this is the first one and uh, I'm really impressed with that. And then if you look at the back, there's a light there on top of the APU and uh, they actually made the APU very, very, very nice and I'll, you know, I'll try to shine some light on it so you guys can see it, see it a bit better. Like now you can see there is an uh, exhaust nozzle there and there's another uh, nozzle on top of it which I still have to figure it out what's that for but it's replicated just like full scale and then on top of the horizontal stabilizers you can see the lights these are the illumination lights for the tail and they even put those on you know, um, I, mean, I can praise this as much as I want but I want you guys to understand that this this replica here is very very accurate very nicely done and um, so you anybody who will buy it or have bought it you know can go wrong I believe these are going these were going for about $190 or slightly less somewhere in that area and uh, I mean they're worth the money honestly like if you are a diehard collector and you understand these things you know uh, they are worth that much because the other models are getting more expensive as the you know with the time and this hobby is getting ex expensive so you know uh, it's just the reality of the life is nowadays so i hope you guys like this review and uh, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think and uh, we go go from there and uh, once again i would like to thank uh, anisa and fahim from threshold aviation for uh, collaborating with me and to bring these reviews for you guys so have a nice day take care bye bye